Well, get out the Marvin Gaye records because a M Melbourne woman has called for the creation of an adults-only suburb in Australia. So she just have some peace and quiet, you guys. She's sick of having to put up with screaming children and, frankly, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do about that? Tim and Susie are with us to discuss. Tim, you're a father of three. Are you terribly Allegedly. offended? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to know where it is and where, if I can move there, even just on weekends or every second weekend. Yeah. Um, I think, look, a suburb's probably going to be too far, but potentially adults-only apartment buildings because we renovated a couple of years ago, so we... We rented a two-bedroom apartment with a with three children. One of them was a baby, and the residents underneath us, because we were at the top level of like only three stories or something, and they were only polite to us for like the first two days. <laughs> and they just like, please get out, please get out. Um, apartment buildings, I get. Okay. Potentially, you know, because um, Palm Springs is like an adults-only kind of. That, that, that's that's kind of like the blueprint, you know, in the US. All of Palm Springs. Well, most hotels and uh, <laughs> most hotels and okay. uh, restaurants yeah. are adults only. Really? Yeah, restaurants. Because, you know, it was built because um, the actors that back in the day had mora yeah. Mora yeah, morality clauses in their contract, and it's exactly 200 miles from Hollywood, so yeah. you could act up 200 miles out of Hollywood. Yeah. So they created this little adults only playground. Okay. Um, well, Susie, no, your anyway. thoughts? Would you subscribe to an adults-only neighbourhood? Well, I, when I saw this initially, I thought, adults-only? I thought, oh, that's great. There'll be lots of blokes. Are you talking about not... <laughs> no, are you talking about not having children? Nude Thursdays. There's nude Thursdays yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cocktails and... I thought that was Tuesday. But There's one big bowl at the front of it for the keys. Oh, for the keys. <laughs> Do you know what that's called? That's called a retirement village. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, serious. Golf carts serious. and all. <laughs> what I would like to see, right, <laughs> is a suburb with no leaf blowers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get the kids. I would like a suburb without barking dogs that are howling. Well, yes. You say that. But I want to show you this little fella. Take a look at this little cheeky devil. <laughs> Yeah, that is Ralphie, a 14-month-old French bulldog who's described in his adoption ad as, quote, a full jerk. Oh. <laughs> Susie, the shelter doesn't want to sugarcoat Ralphie's aggressive and probably needs a bit more training nature. So what they're saying is, don't think you're going to get a, sweet, a sweetheart here. You're going to have to, you know, master this dog. What do you reckon about more honest adoption ads? Yeah, well, I think that's good. Look at that, Ralphie, it's, spread it, it out. It oh, no. It's Go flat. Nice that part. photo, sorry, that photo looks like Madonna. Remember when Madonna was yeah. under the bed? <laughs> Wow, Ralphie. It's, it's great that people have been honest because some people have then decided we're going to take Ralphie home. But guess what? They returned They him. returned Ralphie. Yeah. You can't put a return to sender. Yeah, um, no. would, would you so, adopt Ralphie? I'd adopt Ralphie and then I'd send him up to the kennel in the sky, I reckon. Oh, I think it's, wow. I think, I think it's time for Ralphie to push on. Jeez, that's <laughs> rough. 40, someone can train him. He's oh, 40. Oh, no. You do it then. You do it. It'd be a good story arc for the show. Yeah, right. No, I'm moving to an adults-only dog... <laughs> Friendly, positive neighbourhood. So you would with do no it. leaf blowers. No <laughs> leaf blowers. <laughs> Poor Ralph. Join me in the retirement well, village. Someone right help Ralphie out, but please. But the I problem, it, it, with all jokes aside, the sad thing about this is that it's already started before even have people have tried to train him. These puppy farms that produce animals know, that right. have really terrible. And people bought puppies for presents or during COVID, Princess. and they realised they can't keep them. Now they're they're yeah. so cute. Well, if you were to put up a very <laughs> honest um, ad for Scully, what would it say? Uh, yeah, she has a very high-pitched voice and she's a nana yeah. at oh. three years old. Oh, she could live in the retirement <laughs> she's, village. She's, to, she's there now. Hey, as long as she attracts the blokes, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Take her for a walk. Thanks, Susie. Thanks, Tim. Thank Thanks you. you guys.